And the People's Democratic Party in Adamawa State has called for completion of the ongoing supplementary election process. The party's governorship campaign organization, the protester INEC headquarters in Yola, issued a 72-hour ultimatum to the umpire to complete last Saturday's exercise. PDP also demanded removal of the state's ele uh, resident electoral commissioner for partisanship. Correspondent to Ola Badenese has details. These are supporters of the PDP governorship candidates in the April 15 rerun election. They came out in their numbers to air their views in a peaceful protest at the INEC office in Yola. We are here today to see the INEC officials of Adama State and those that are responsible for coalition and return of a winner for our governorship election in Adama State to demand for justice, to demand that the right thing be done. That is why we had to take a walk protest. And this is because they want to put Adamawa into a position that citizens will be fighting themselves. Meanwhile, international election observers who monitor the exercise shared the same view. Um, and then this morning to find out that something had derailed that scheduled process at nine o'clock was, was devastating to say the least. Um, the count was very transparent. It was going very, very well. And I think that the last 10 local governments should be completed to finish off and get the true result of the election itself. They want INEC to douse the tension in the state by completing the electoral process, believing it will usher in popular candidates. In fact, we, we insist that INEC must return to Adama today, immediately after their meeting. INEC has all the money. They can hire an aircraft that returns their officials, even if there is no aircraft flying to Adama today. So we must not wait any further. INEC must not wait any further after today. This is our call on INEC. This process must finish. This process must finish. We want to maintain peace. We are calm. We will continue to maintain peace. But for now, we cannot guarantee anything after now. It's unfortunate. INEC, we are calling that for, a, for the removal of Mr. Harry Hudu, who have connived and collected money to sabotage the image of the Independent National Electoral Commission. PDP is also demanding the removal of the state resident electoral commissioner for partisanship.